Okay, so today uh, I'm going to test out the uh, XA3 as a vlogging camera. Finally, I've had it for about a week and a bit and haven't been able to test it. Um, I've got a little external audio going on here, so we'll see how that does. As usual, I've got my dishwasher paused, so you keep hearing uh, beeping in the background. I'm always doing dishes. There's, somebody's always doing dishes around here when I'm trying to record. So I'm off to Steveston to the Hog Shack to have brunch. Um, and yeah we'll see how this thing does saturday it's 11 o'clock in the morning i've been up since about seven going to be using the uh, fujifilm xa3 uh, as a vlogging camera when i get there i'm using my little samsung point and shoot for this car uh, bit because it actually works very very well for this and for my do i want to call it my signature driving time lapse probably because i live in the suburbs so i drive everywhere Cut to Steveston, it looks really busy, which is great to see. Uh, Steveston is a really seasonal area. It's really like late spring, summer, early fall when the weather's nice because it's right on the water. It should be this busy in Steveston, but it never has been. Um, and I'm glad to see that things have really, I mean, come, come around to the point where this is a viable place to have a year-round business. So way to go, Johnny and Alan. You guys rock. All right, so just walking down the waterfront here. Uh, using the internal mics, I haven't set up any external audio yet. Um, it is a little bit windy here. It's super busy, which is awesome to see. Uh, I got a bit of a walk because I had to park pretty far down away from the hog shack, but we're gonna go there now. It's brunch time. And I'm feeling coming up now. Um, if you're looking for it, you look for that big Canada flag over there, they're right across from it. Right beside Blend's Coffee. <coughs> Looks like Johnny and Alan are both here. I think Al's probably over at Cove. What's going on, man? How you doing, man? Alright, so, um, just got chicken and waffles. I'll post a picture of it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take a video of it, but, um, looks amazing, you guys. You'll see it here. I'll, I'll splice it in, but sitting having a nice chat with Alan from the Hog Shack, one of the owners. Um, awesome guy. Talking F1, which is, uh, one of my favorite things in the world. Look at the exposure on this thing. Why is it every time I turn, exposure goes up. Exposure goes down, exposure goes up. Very strange. So I don't want to go uh, overboard here at all, but this is the best chicken and waffles I've ever had in my life. It's absolutely incredible. Um, chicken and waffles on one side and eggs benedict with house cured bacon on a waffle on the other side. Unreal, so good. You gotta do your own like salt bay video in the back of the hog shack, man, but do it with sauce. <laughs> Squirt the sauce down your arm. No, I was gonna do the chicken waffle and then yeah. the bacon. The, the bacon sprinkle. crumble? <laughs> 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 no, that needs to happen, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> it's fine. You don't need to worry, it's just electricity. Look at that. <laughs> There you go, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> if they're doing something like North Bay, that'd be, that'd be nice. Oh, like the pier there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that'd be cool. I'm not sure what that would be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. Is this all new? Let's see how good the uh, the mic is right now. It's a little windy, so we'll see if uh, we pick a lot of that up on the internal mic. Um, the exposure is still all over the map as I walk around. I have it set to I've, I've tried it on um, center like center point exposure. I've tried it on average or center weighted exposure. I've tried it on um, average. I've tried basically every mode there is, and it still keeps sort of shifting exposure so I don't really know what to do about that um, I think the autofocus is a little better than when I was testing it out earlier but it's still not not the best so I don't know we'll see check the footage at home see how it looks I kind of lost track of time here it's uh, coming up on four o'clock and it takes about 45 minutes to get home and I gotta get Lindsay to um, her dad is retiring from uh, the fire department in Langley and he's got a retirement dinner and I gotta get her out there for that. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna miss the sunset, which is gonna be over there. Um, yeah. Good outing. Brunch at the Hog Shack was fantastic. Um, it's a, it was their first official brunch today. And I might die from the amount of food that I ate. I had two full breakfasts. Totally worth it, no regrets. Chicken and waffles. Well, I'm home. Um, get a look at this footage and um, sort of make my decision whether this thing's gonna be any good or not. I know it's gonna be good as a stills camera. I mean, it's a Fujifilm X series camera, but as a movie camera or a vlogging camera, I guess we'll see. Okay, so I think I figured out this exposure issue I was having. Um, where we, no, no, I haven't. So yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know what to do with this thing with this exposure. I can shoot in full manual, I guess, but I like to just leave a couple things in auto while I'm shooting. Um, like run and gun, I shoot aperture priority, or sometimes I shoot um, shutter speed priority, but I think, you know, like right now, it looks great. I, I really like the look of the video. Um, I've got a little rig. I'll show you, I'll film it with my regular camera. I've got a little external audio rig on the side of this thing that sort of makes up for not having a mic input, and it's actually worked out really well. Um, it's just this exposure thing is driving me crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Um, there's got to be a solution. There has to be. Like, it can't be... It can't be this. Like, look at that. Look at that. Just from turning my head. No, it's driving me crazy. I'm going to figure this out. Okay, so I switched to single point autofocus, and I've got the exposure locked to that single point. So it should be on my face. Um... I've just set it to the middle, so I keep seeing the um, the face tracking uh, on the screen, but I don't have face tracking turned on, so I don't know what's going on here. I think I can make this work with a different lens. This kit lens is not the fastest lens. I, I think if I had the um, the uh, XF with uh, f2.8, the 18, what is this, 18 to, this is the kit lens, 16 to 50, I think that the, the the next step up from this is 18 to 55 or 18 to 50 um, but it's an f 2.8 to 4 instead of being an f 3.5 to 5.6 the autofocus is a little faster you're gonna get a little more separation from the background which actually doesn't look that bad on this lens to be if I'm being really honest but um, yeah uh, you know what I think I can make this work I, I do like the way the video looks I think it looks really really nice when everything's focusing and yeah, there's that exposure thing again. When everything's focusing, um, 
the way you want it to be. So. Okay, so I just want to quickly sum up um, my findings with this Fujifilm XA3. Got it right here. It's the pink model. Um, it also comes in brown and black. Uh, I've used it for the past couple of days as a vlogging camera, primarily yesterday. You've just seen all that. I'm going to try to keep this brief and then show you um, the rig that I use to make up for the fact that this thing doesn't have external audio. So this has 24 megapixels, it's uh, got more autofocus points, it's got an electronic shutter, it has more uh, options through the Fujifilm camera app, uh, whereas the original XA1 was limited with what you could do through the iOS or Android app. As a stills camera, really? That was my wife on the phone, she, uh, she's in Toronto, she just got to Toronto, she's there for the week for work. It's gotten uh, dark out in the meantime, or not dark, but it was nice and sunny and now the sun's kind of setting, it's gone behind the houses across the street here, so had to up the lighting situation here, hence the, um, I, I don't remember what I said already. So, uh, you know, as far as something for street photography, I really enjoy this camera, it takes selfies, and uh, that's why I wanted to review this as a vlogging camera. Now its biggest shortfall is that it doesn't have a microphone input. Um, I found a way around that. I've made myself, and now it looks ridiculous, I will admit that it looks insane, but I've made this little vlogging rig up. It's a slick mini uh, tripod uh, with a Joby ball head and a Zoom H1 external audio recorder. You've got your front facing screen and that's it. That's what I've used uh, today. Yesterday I did it without uh, this bracket, so I had no external audio unless I was hand holding it or had it on a tripod on the table beside me. Or, uh, wow, this is a really deep v neck t shirt. I didn't realize how, yeesh, I'm really self conscious about it now. That takes care of the audio shortcomings of this camera. The exposure shift issue. I haven't been able to get rid of. Uh, other than the shifting exposure, I'm really, really impressed with this camera as a video camera. I think the footage looks great. Um, I think with a better lens that's not this kit lens. The autofocus thing, that's not a huge deal. You can work around it with better lenses. The front facing screen is a total win for vlogging. You can overcome the lack of a microphone jack with external audio. I can't 100% recommend this thing for vlogging. Can you use it as a vlogging camera? Yeah, you, you totally can. Is it the best? No, it's not. Is it better than what I'm using now? That is debatable because this is a small sensor camera, this, uh, this Lumix FZ200. It doesn't get as nice video because it's basically the, the size of a cell phone sensor. Panasonic takes really great video, uh, their cameras produce wonderful video. Immediate competition for this would be other cameras in the Fujifilm line like the X-T10, something like the Sony A6000 or A6300. Again, it's more money than this for sure. Uh, Sony A5000 or A, I think it's 5100, the next one up. Very similar to this, no front facing screen though, uh, no mic input, you can get around it with something like this. Yeah, I mean, it's doable. The, the footage, when it's focused and when it's consistent, it looks very nice. You can use Fujifilm's film simulations. If you put it on Velvia and bump the color up, um, it almost looks like color graded uh, video, which is beautiful. As a vlogging camera, I can't really give it a, a hard thumbs up or like a super good recommendation. It's, it's usable and it will get you nice results most of the time, but there's that just little exposure thing that drove me insane and that's the reason I can't say go out and buy this camera right now because you'll love it, because you might not. WFLBC on the fence about this camera. I really wanna like it. I'm gonna do another video probably using this as a stills camera. Um, that's it, thanks guys, we'll see you next week.